do concrete raising materials erode. The answer to this question completely depends upon the materials and methods used to raise your concrete. There's the old basic technology referred to as mud jacking that uses simple equipment and very simple materials. Then we have polyurethane injection technology which uses very specialized materials and highly complex equipment. But you know, if you use mud jacking, you're going to be at risk definitely of having problems with erosion. Polyurethane materials are completely water resistant and not subject to erosion. Over the years, in our experience, we have routinely sampled mud jacking mixtures from failed mud jacking jobs where we're re-raising those mud jacked slabs. And as we're doing that, we sample these materials. And it doesn't matter what the mud jacker called the material, whether they called it a, a concrete-like slurry, something cement-like, clay, sand mixtures, or custom mortar mixtures. In our experience, they're all the same, containing virtually no binding agent to them at all. So with zero compressive strength, these materials easily crumble in your hand. It's no wonder they're subject to erosion. We've taken these materials and we've conducted many side-by-side -side tests comparing the water resistancy between mud jacking materials and polyurethane. It's very clear to see the mud jacking washes away easily where the polyurethane is virtually unaffected by water. However, erosion isn't the only problem here. High moisture levels can be equally fatal to mud jacking materials. Mud jacking mud can push a concrete slab up, but over time, moisture can penetrate this material, soften it, weaken it, allowing it to drop again. And when this happens, your concrete is actually at risk of additional cracks forming. When this happens, you're likely going to be required to have to replace these slabs. So you don't have to just rely on our experience with mud jacking materials. We can also lean on the experience of the Illinois Tollway and surrounding departments of transportation. You can go online and easily find a document by the Illinois Tollway called Illinois Tollway Guidelines for Pavement Assets. And if you look up this document, you can read through it and learn from their decades of experience dealing with settled sinking highways and figuring out the best ways to raise them. You know, back in the day, mud jacking or what they, re they refer to it as cementitious grouting, that was the only option. But they have learned that there is a better way and that way is polyurethane. So within this document, I'm paraphrasing here, but it says very clearly that the use of cementitious grouts has declined due to its erosion potential. The document goes on to say, high density two component water resistant polyurethane is the primary slab stabilization material used today. So there you go, decades of experience from the Illinois Tollway and they have determined that polyurethane is the way to go. So with Acme Concrete Raising and Repair and our Smart Lift system, we only use the highest quality, water resistant polyurethane materials. And our polyurethane has such a high compressive strength that this is actually suitable and rated to raise and support highways. So again, with Acme Concrete Raising and Repair, we're gonna provide you a super high density material that is definitely water resistant, not subject to erosion. We hope you have found this useful.